Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson here, Catfish Edge, with this week's catfishing tip. Now a couple months ago I did a video about the three most common mistakes that anglers make when fishing with circle hooks. I had a lot of questions after that video, people sent me you know, saying, hey, you know, I've heard so many different things about circle hooks, I really don't understand the right way to fish with them. Can you give me some more information? So I'm going to talk about the three ways that you can catch catfish with circle hooks including one that you've probably heard you can't do. So the first two ways that you can catch catfish with circle hooks are the most common. One is that you leave the reel engaged, you fish with the tight line, you want to make sure that you have a rod that's got some flex in the tip because if you use a rod that's too stiff, especially for small to medium sized catfish, circle hooks won't work as well. So you want to make sure you've got a good flexible tip with some bend to it so the circle hooks can work correctly. The first way, again, leave the reel engaged, fish with a tight line, and when the fish bites, you just simply let the fish hook themselves. For a circle hook to work correctly, the hook has to slide and turn, and it will hook it usually in the corner of the fish's mouth. And oftentimes, if you use the right rod, the right hook, and you bait it correctly, like I covered in those three common mistakes video, the fish is going to hook itself. All you have to do is pick the rod up and reel it in. Now the second way, very similar, cast your bait out, fish with a tight line with the reel engaged, and this is what I call the reel, reel, reel. There's a lot of anglers that do this. I have found that it's really not necessary most of the time. Most of the time, if the fish are biting good, you've got the right rod, the hook is going to do the work for you. But the real, real, real is when the fish bites and you see the line move or the rod tip begin to bend, you simply grab the reel, usually in the rod holder without even picking it up, and reel the handle as fast as you can until you get tension on the end of the rod, then you pick the rod up and reel it in the rest of the way. Again, for a circle hook to work correctly, that hook has to turn and slide and there has to be tension on it. The mistake many anglers make is they grab the rod and they either don't allow the fish to maintain that tension or they grab the rod and they jerk and pull the, fit, the hook out of the fish's mouth. Now the third and final way that you can use circle hooks is to set the hook. Oh no, Chad, you can't set the hook with a circle hook. I can already hear everybody saying it now. If you have been told that you can't set the hook with a circle hook, that is partially true. Now if you're using one of these hooks like I'm using here, what I refer to as a hybrid circle hook, there's several variations of this on the market, but a circle hook that's got a good wide gap in it and not a real small gap is what you need for catfish. And a hook like this with that wide gap, you can set the hook with a circle hook. If you want to hold the fishing rod in your hand, wait till you get a bite and set the hook, you can do that. Here's the key. If you're one of these that whenever you get a bite from a fish, you have to grab that fishing rod and do this real short jerk, this big animated hook set like you see on TV with all these bass fishermen doing, not to pick on the bass fishermen, but that's not going to work to set the hook for a circle hook. To set the hook with a circle hook, you want to make sure that you have tension on the line and you're going to make a long sweeping motion with the fishing rod from 10 to two, if you imagine looking at a clock, you're going to go over like this with a long sweeping motion and that is going to set the hook with a circle hook. If you're using a hybrid hook like this or a circle hook with a large wide gap on it, it may not work for every one of those hooks, but most of them it will. I've tested it with dozens of hooks over the years and it's always worked as long as you do that long sweeping hook set and make sure that you have tension on the line when it starts and make sure that you keep tension on the line during the entire process. So those are the three ways that you can catch catfish with circle hooks. 
I'll be back next week with another catfishing tip. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our video, pass the word on, tell your friends, and make sure you head over to catfishedge.com because the information you find in our videos is a small portion of the tips, tricks, and information that we cover to help you catch more and bigger catfish. Until next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.